It's the truth, he meant the future, you know You got Taraji P out here Crying Because she feels That, you know She's not making enough money From doing what she does Not that she's not a multi-millionaire from doing what she does. Not that she makes more money than 99% of people living in this country, but because she feels that after taxes and after she pays everybody she got to pay because she chose to hire those people after she pays for everything she got to pay in her life because she chose to live that lifestyle after she does all these things she feels like she ain't got no money like that so she gotta cry like a whole two-year-old because she ain't getting paid what she thinks she deserves to be getting paid. You know what I'm saying? Now, Taraji P is worth millions and millions of dollars. There's been net worth sites that say, one say 25 mil, the other one say 12. You know, a lot of times they say different things, but regardless, it's still more than seven, eight, nine million dollars, right? So she wants somebody to play the violin for her because she basically, you know, don't see the money she thinks She's supposed to be seeing, right? Grown men don't get to do this, right? Grown men don't, right? Imagine all the hardworking people working jobs, paying them 40000 a year, 30000 a year, working hard, feeling like, you know, they not getting paid what they supposed to be getting paid. Do you see them online crying about it? Imagine some nigga working at Burger King coming online crying about how Burger King ain't paying him what he feels like he deserves for flipping burgers all day. What would they tell him? Would they say, oh, that's messed up Burger King ain't paying him. They need to pay him more. Or will they say, nigga, well, you need to find a better job. You should have went and got your education. Which one would they tell him? You know what I'm saying? I believe Taraji P is living a lifestyle and she wants to continue to live that lifestyle. So now after all these years, she wants to complain about not getting paid enough. You know what I'm saying? You get paid what you sign and get paid for, right? Remember, Monique felt like Netflix wasn't paying her enough for the Netflix deal, right? What did Monique do? Monique didn't sign the deal. Monique said she ain't signing it. And she tried to get people to, you know, boycott Netflix. And she said she's not going to take that because, you know, she thinks she deserved more. And what happened later? She went back to the table. Netflix paid her more. And she signed it. So if Taraji P. Henson felt like, you know, these acting jobs were not enough for her, you know, she didn't have to take it. She didn't have to sign the contract. She didn't have to participate in the movie or in the show or none of that. She ain't had to do none of that. She could have been like, nah, y'all, you know what I'm saying? I need y'all to pay me more, right? But she chose to sign the contract. She chose to do the movie or show. She chose to get paid. She got the money. You know, she spent the money. She used the money to live her lifestyle. Now she want to come back and cry and talk about how she might be out here about to quit. Are you trying to quit or or the jobs getting limited? Or are they not hiring, hiring you like they used to hire you? Which one is it, man? You know what I'm saying? Now, I believe people should get paid for their worth, but you don't get to just cry about not getting paid. Can you imagine an NBA player who... Contract is coming up and his team just trades him because they don't want to pay him. And he out here crying, talking about, they, they just going to trade me. It was time for my contract. I heard I got hurt. It wasn't my fault I hurt my knees. It wasn't my fault I had to get surgery. Do grown men get to cry out here when shit don't go the way they wanted to go? Huh? 
These the same women running around talking about how strong they are. How courageous they are. Don't uh, Taraji P be talking all big and bad? I remember when she was hosting the award show, talking all that shit. Women, we strong. We empowering. We change the world. And I want to shout out the, uh, uh, well, who, who was she shouting out? She was shouting out female celebrities who was putting up money to Planned Parenthood. I want to shout out to all the ladies to putting up money to Planned Parenthood so to help us kill more babies. So she was proud of it, too. She was so proud. You know what I'm saying? And then now, she out here crying. They so strong one minute. The next minute, they crying like a two-year-old because... They they can't can't understand why all their money gone after Uncle Sam done took it. Like Uncle Sam only takes their money. Like Uncle Sam don't take every other millionaire money. Like Uncle Sam don't take money from these athletes. Like Uncle Sam don't take money to entertainers. Like Uncle Sam only taking money from her. She says it's like when you get 10 mil once Uncle Sam done with it and you done paying all the people you got to pay and you done paying everything you got to pay. Well, that means that's the lifestyle that you're choosing to live, right? You chose to employ all these people around you. You chose to, to have all these people on payroll. You chose to live in that mansion you live in. You chose to... Pay for the cars you drive and the, the 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 lavish lifestyle that you live. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, uh, you gotta you you gotta tighten up, man. These joints is so strong, they crying every five minutes and shit. They so strong, they want you to feel sorry for them when you are a whole multi-millionaire. You got people getting paid to hold signs in the hot ass street. Summertime, you got people working hard ass jobs coming home with they back aching. You got people working hard ass jobs coming home sore as hell. But you want us to feel sorry for you, the multimillionaire, remind you, somebody who gets paid more than 99% of people in this country. You know what I'm saying? But you want us to feel sorry for you because you're not getting paid what you feel you're worth. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Come on, Taraji. You make good enough money to be good. You know what I'm saying? I believe if she, if they could pay her, she would still act. I believe the acting jobs ain't coming like they used to because she ain't as hot as she used to be. You know what I'm saying? I believe that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? But also, you know, when it comes to acting, you do got to be on set for a minute. and it do, it do takes a lot to act. You know what I'm saying? But this woman... Is rich. Let's let's be real. Number one, she's rich. She's rich out here complaining about not being richer. Okay, most people will never ever see the type of money she have seen. You know what I'm saying? And I believe everybody off um off that uh that show Taraji P was on when that gay nigga you know lied and shit Empire. You know what I'm saying? Everybody lost money behind that nigga Jesse Smollett. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, that show was in the height of what was going on. You know what I'm saying? Once all that shit happened and they took him off the show, shit started happening. That show, I believe after a year or two, it was done for that show. So she lost millions behind Jesse Smollett. If his ass wasn't out here lying and doing the most, she probably would have made some more millions just off that show. You know what I'm saying? This woman has made money in her career. You know what I'm saying? Let's be clear about that. It seems like how she was breaking it down was how after she made got the money, she's saying she ain't seen the money after she did whatever she had to do. After she paid whoever she had to pay. Like somebody forced her to have all them damn people on payroll. You want to live like that boss. You want to live like that famous celebrity. You want to live like that person making money in the industry. You want to live and have that lifestyle. You want to have that mansion. You want to drive that Bentley. You want to eat where you want to eat. You want to uh, wear luxury clothes. You want to do all these things. So don't get the money. Spend the money. You know, and then come cry about the money, you know what I'm saying? You crying when people don't even get paid like that, man. Sit your ass down somewhere and be thankful you're even in position to be a multi-millionaire. You know what I'm saying? Be thankful for that. Because there are people who wear 
work way harder jobs and don't see nearly the money. Do you get to cry about your job? Everybody watching this, I'm sure there's people who go to their job every day and don't like their job, don't like how they be getting treated at their job, feel like they might uh, should be getting paid more. Do you get to come on the internet and cry about how your boss be getting on your nerve and cry about how your boss got you doing shit that you felt like you ain't had to do? Do you get to cry and play victim and act like somebody done did something to you? Come on, man. Get out of here with it, man. You so strong. Remember Taraji? She the main one running around talking about how strong women are and how empowering this is and that is. And then you want to cry about not getting paid. Boy, if you don't go that way, I'm out.